हे एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू दोग्रामिंग फील्ड द प्लेस वेर वी डोंट जस्ट कोड वी क्राफ्ट एंटरप्राइज रेडी एक्सपीरियंसेस आई एम उमेश राणा एंड इन द प्रीवियस एपिसोड वी टूक लेरेवल ट्वेल्व प्लस रिएक्ट एंड गेव इट सुपर पावर्स यूजिंग वर्क ऑथ किट एंड दिस वॉज डन विथ जीरो मैनुअल सेटअप वी हैड फुल्ली वर्किंग सोशल लॉग इन वाया गूगल गिट हब माइक्रोसॉफ्ट एंड एपल बट वट इफ आई टोल्ड यू दैट द फ्यूचर ऑफ ऑथेंटिकेशन does not even need passwords in today's video we are unlocking passwordless login using two cutting edge methods which is passkey login and magic link authentication the passkey login also known as web authentication and this enables secure login using biometrics like face id touch id or security keys and next we have magic link authentication this lets user log in with a one click secure email link with no password required so in the today's video we are going to set these up using workos and thanks to its auth kit we don't need to write any oauth logic or complex security code manually so whether you are building a saas app and admin panel or onboarding enterprise users so this is the modern authentication which users expect so let's get started Firstly let's enable passkey authentication via web authentication so i already have the workos account so under the authentication section we have the following authentication methods which is single sign on email plus password passkey and magic auth and today we are going to focus on passkey and magic authentication and firstly we will enable the passkey authentication via web authentication but before enabling this passkey we have to understand what exactly is a passkey so a passkey is a modern secure alternative to passwords and this is built on web authentication api and this allows users to authenticate using built in device biometrics just like face id or touch id and the beauty of passkeys is that they are phishing resistant stronger than passwords bound to a specific device and this require no password storage or two factor authentication so once the passkey is enabled in the workos dashboard workos will automatically inject a sign in with passkey functionality into your existing login ui and for handling this no extra front end coding needed so currently we have this login functionality added by workos and if we'll click on this this has redirected on the login page and here we have this sign in option using this social authentication which is google microsoft github and apple but apart from these all workos provide many other social login authentication that we can configure in the workos dashboard and that i will show you later so currently we can see we have these options only we have the login through email and we have these following social logins Also, we have the sign up option. So, if you we'll click on sign up, if you don't have the account, then in the sign up, we have the following social options for creating a account. Because in the last video, we just disabled the email and password sign up options. Okay. Now let's quickly jump to the WorkOS dashboard, and here we will enable the passkey. So we'll have to click on this enable button here. Let's enable this toggle. and here we have the options like this will ask users with a password to create a passkey on their next sign in and the notice can be dismissed permanently or will show every 2 weeks so this is just a prompt if you want to prompt this to the users so currently i'll just deselect this option i don't want to prompt this for the existing users i'll just click on save changes now this is enabling this and here the passkey option is enabled okay now if we we'll navigate to the application if we we'll go back if i will refresh and if we we'll try to click on sign up here we have the sign up option enabled so while sign up we'll have to enter the name and email address i will enter my email address here okay and if i'll click on continue here this prompted are we going to sign up with passkey so this asked continue with a passkey because we have enabled the passkey options inside the authentication 
so we'll have to click on this continue with a pass key let's click on this now in the next step this asked to create a pass key because by default we will have to generate few pass keys and that we will have to store it so we'll click on create a pass key and for this we'll have to enable the sign in option here so i'll just put my touch panel and yes the sign up is successful okay now we can just log in using this email and pass key now i'll try to click on login so i already have this email address here i will just click on continue here it asked will have to sign in with a pass key instead of password i'll click on sign in with pass key and currently the pass key was stored in this icloud so i'll just select this icloud keychain and here it asked for biometric so i will use touch id and yes this is successful now it sent one otp on my email address and for this we don't have to configure any email credentials behind the scene work os handles this automatically now i will navigate to my mailbox and yes here we have received this email okay i will just copy this passcode again i will navigate to the application and i will enter that and yes we have successfully logged into the application and here we redirected on the dashboard page okay from the profile settings we have the setting and this has fetched profile from that entered email now if i log out Yes I have redirected on the login page back because we already configured the redirection URL in the last episode okay now again if I'll try to login I will just enter that same email address I will click on continue I will choose sign in with a pass key and again we have the option to choose iCloud keychain or we can select this use a phone tablet or security key if we'll go with this use a phone tablet or security key this will generate one qr code and you will have to scan this using your phone okay and there this will generate one pass key currently i'll just go back and i will select icloud keychain again so you have these two options either you can go with this icloud keychain that will store the password in the system or you can just go with your phone only i'll click on icloud keychain again i will just put my touch id in order to enable this okay this is verified and yes i'm redirected back on the dashboard now if we'll navigate to the application inside database if we'll check the database.sqlite yes we have the user entry here okay so by using this way we can enable the passwordless login using pass key now we will talk about one more feature which is magic authentication so the magic link authentication allows users to login using only their email address and again in this case you don't need to enter your password to login to your account and in this type of login authentication a secure login link will be sent to your email address and when we'll click on that this will sign in into your account so to enable this we'll have to click on enable magic authentication let's click on this and we have the toggle let's toggle this to enable and here we have one instruction as users can sign in with a unique six digit code sent to their email address let's click on save changes and yes again this option has been enabled now let's navigate to the application again i will just log out i will click on login option again and from here i will just enter that registered email address i will click on continue now we have two options available the first option is sign in with a pass key that we already saw in the last step another option we have email sign in code 
So this time we are going to log in using this email sign in code because we have enabled email magic authentication. I'll click on this email sign in code. Now this is sending one OTP to that email address. I will navigate to that mailbox. And yes, I have received this OTP. I'll copy this. I will come back to the application and I will paste it here. Yes, I have successfully logged in now. So by using this way, we can log into your application without entering your password. Only we needed email address. All right. And in this type of authentication, the work OS handles email template, one time token generation, secure link delivery and link expiry and session management. Also, you don't need to build any email logic, backend validation or token cleanup yourself. This is fully managed by WorkOS. So we saw the magic authentication and pass keys. Now we will talk about which one should you use because we have multiple things like when to use pass keys or when to use magic authentication. So you can use pass keys when you want biometric grade security and this is ideal for mobile first applications, internal dashboards or zero trust environments. But in other hand, you can use magic links for fast frictionless access and this is perfect for SaaS platforms, B2B tools and first time user onboarding. So in many application, combining both gives users the best of both worlds that is high security and great UX. So that's it for this episode. In a just few steps, you have added biometric login and magic link email login to your Laravel plus React app using WorkOS AuthKit. And for handling these two authentication, no backend code needed, no password handling, no session risk, just a secure, a scalable, user-friendly login. So in the next episodes, we will dive into SAML SSO that will be single sign-on authentication, directory sync and role-based access control using WorkOS. So if you find this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the bell icon so you don't miss a single part of this series. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next episode.